Hello, I'm Father Daniel Lishney, pastor here at St. John Baptist de La Salle Parish in Delmont and St. Mary Our Lady of Lourdes in Export. We've all looked forward to joining back together again for public worship, and I wanted to share with you and your loved ones some of the changes that you might expect when you come to join us for weekend worship beginning June 6th and 7th. Weekend worship in our parishes will be taking place actually outside here at St. John's, which is perhaps especially well suited for that option. I want to also say a special word of thanks to our reopening committee that's been a big help in thinking through the necessary steps to make that happen, to ensure that our worship is sacred and safe, and that we open up in a way that is responsible for you and your family as we come back to Mass. First, some considerations. Okay, guys, you ready to go to church? Wait, we're going to church? I thought we were just going to watch it online again. No, we're actually going to church. We're going to go to St. John's. That's why I asked everybody if they have their masks. Everybody have them? Yep. yep. Okay, and sunscreen. Mickey, did you grab the sunscreen? Yeah, but why do we need sunscreen? Well, Mass is going to look a little bit different. For the safety of everyone now, we're going to celebrate Mass outdoors. And if it's sunny, we'll need sunscreen. Kennedy, did you grab the folding chairs? Yeah, they're in the back. But why do we need folding chairs? Well, Father Dan is asking that if parishioners would like to sit outside and the weather is good for everyone to bring their own lawn chairs or folding chairs. If it's raining or someone doesn't feel comfortable outside, they can sit in their car and tune into a local radio station that will be broadcasting mass. We'll have to listen for more information on this. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Okay, one last thing. Did everybody use the bathroom before we leave? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good, because the bathrooms at St. John's are closed except for emergencies. All right, guys, let's go to church. Let's go! For weekend mass outdoors, please plan to enter through the main entrance on Athena Drive. A hospitality minister will greet you at the entrance of the parking lot where you can pick up a bulletin, including any notes or music for the liturgy, and drop off any offertory envelopes, though online giving is still encouraged and appreciated. Welcome to St. John's and St. Mary's. Um, here is your bulletin and your worship aid. Thank you. And you can drop off your collection in there. And also you can listen on your car radio by tuning into the posted radio station. It was posted down there. Uh, you may park in the lot as normal, but facing the altar, which is on the right of the plaza. Uh, the hospitality ministers will direct you as you park. If you wish, you may remain in your vehicle. Um, also, if you wish, you're welcome to exit your vehicle and use any lawn chairs that you brought to sit in the designated grassy areas. Remember to wear your masks and stay six feet apart from other individuals and families. Thank you so much, and it's great to have you back. Thank you. You're welcome. tie our partner parishes together, we'll be using some sanctuary furnishings from St. Mary's prior to the recent renovations. We will observe a soft start of Masses with a reduced Mass schedule at least the first week of June 6th and 7th. Our Mass will be 4 p.m. on Saturday and 9 a.m. on Sunday morning, one Mass time from each parish, and we'll adjust the Mass times as needed, so please stay tuned and connected. At the sign of peace, instead of shaking hands, we invite you to make a reverent bow to those who are near you. For a long time, we've been waiting to resume Holy Communion. Please pay special attention and follow these guidelines, which are subject, of course, to revision. Holy Communion will be distributed at outdoor mass at the regular time, and for the safety of all, both from the spread of the virus and of pedestrians, that is a top concern for us. 
communion ministers will be wearing masks and have a bottle of hand sanitizer on the table next to them. Look for that. It's the easiest way to know where your nearest communion station might be. Communicants are invited to come in an orderly manner, maintaining a six feet distance and a center aisle, rotating sides if you're seated in the lawn. Watch for the hospitality ministers to direct you. After the person in front of you has received and departed, make your reverent bow from six feet away. Immediately before the minister says the body of Christ, the communicant may lower their mask and with arms fully extended, make a throne for Christ in their hand. They are invited to step aside, consume the host, replace the mask, and then reverently return to their place and make an act of thanksgiving all while respecting the social distance. We ask that you receive the sacred host in the hand rather than on the tongue. Also, the precious blood will not be offered for the faithful at this time. No one will be permitted to leave while the communion rite is in progress, so as to avoid traffic while pedestrians are walking. Please note that the gate to Park Drive will also be closed for the same reason. Those who are vulnerable are encouraged to stay home, but anyone present who is unable to walk to a communion station should park in these designated handicapped parking spaces near the pavilion and the extraordinary minister of Holy Communion can come to you at the f end of communion time. Please note that the restrooms are generally closed during this time, except for emergencies. So please come prepared. In case of a restroom emergency, please use the social hall ramp entrance and try to avoid touching any surfaces. Many have asked what will happen in case of inclement weather. We've thought of that too. You may want to bring a hat for the sun, um, but if it is raining, then the sanctuary will move inside of the vestibule. The sound will still be broadcast on the FM radio station, so you can listen from inside of your vehicle. Pray for good weather. In, case, in that case, communicants will need to come into the vestibule to receive Holy Communion, reverently in line, keeping social distancing, of course. They'll enter in through the center doors, receive Communion, and then proceed out the other side and return to their vehicle. At the end of Mass, please be extra cautious in departing, mindful of any pedestrians. We are so glad to have you back with us for the public celebration of Mass. I know that these are challenging times. However, respecting each other and our health and safety comes first, as we do as Christ would have us do for the least of these. For the foreseeable future, the bishop's dispensation from the obligation to attend Sunday Mass will remain in effect. This means that you do not have to come to Mass. So if you are in a high-risk category or vulnerable yourself or their caregiver, we ask you to take some time and prayerfully consider whether or not you should come to Mass. If you decide not to come to Mass, we understand, and we ask you to follow the, continue to follow the online Masses with Bishop Malesic and the resources we provided for you. As some of you become, begin to come back, we look forward to welcoming you. And know that for those of you who aren't able to join us just quite yet, you remain close and in our prayers. We look forward to seeing you soon.